G'day, I'm Drew Hare from Gringo Productions and today we're going to go from this image to this image. So you can download this footage from my website and then once you've got it in the edit, uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure you're in a 4K timeline. So come up to Master Settings, Timeline Resolution and it is 49 by 2160 DCI. Save. It's also in 25 frames a second and data level full. So this is a pretty easy technique. It's a pretty extreme grade, but it looks quite interesting. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna leave this node as is, but we'll change the name to face. Then we'll create another node and we'll call this node dsat. Change it to a layer node, so Alt L on Windows. And then we will desaturate this node down here. And we're going to bump up the contrast a lot. So about 1200. And you notice nothing is changing. So it won't have any effect until we actually create the layer. Well, the overlay. Come into this little part here. And go down to composite mode. And we're going to change it to hard light. Now, as you can see, it's quite an extreme look. But there is a couple more things to make it look more interesting. So, go back in again. Create another node, Alt S, and then make another layer node, Alt L, and make another node, Alt S, and then change composite mode to overlay. And we'll kind of come back to the face one, and we're going to make a power window circle, put it over the face roughly. Let's zoom in a bit. Yep, and we just want to bring up some of this darkness. Can't really see what is going on. So maybe something like that. Put in some more contrast. We really want the face to stick out. And we're going to sharpen it a lot. To give it a really dirty, grungy look. So that was after. That's before. So we're just raising the shadows and putting more emphasis on the face. Okay, so come back to this node and looking at the image, I think a vignette would help and we need to do something about this because it's really sticking out. So we will call this one vignette or just vin. And create our vignette with the power window. And then we want to do everything on the outside of this window. So come down here shows everything on the outside. And then we'll go to our curves and we'll bring down a lot of the shadows and some of the highlights. Okay, so before, after. And this is just putting more attention onto the subject. Okay, now we've still got to do something about this because it is sticking out a lot. Uh, it's a lot brighter than everything else outside the vignette. So... We'll make a parallel node, so Alt P. And we'll just clean up our node, so right click, clean node graph. There we go. And we'll call this one, what is it, broom handle? It's broom. Or just BR. Okay, so we'll create a mask around it with the pen tool. And then we'll track it. So the best way to track something in DaVinci Resolve to do it quickly is to take off Perspective 3D and Rotate and take off all your other nodes, so Alt D and then Control T to track or you can just come down here to track so then that's going to track, so you want to track forward and then you want to track backwards, so Alt T to track backwards Okay, now that that's done, we'll go back to a better frame, something like that. And then Alt-D, put all your nodes back on. So, first thing we want to do is we've desaturated a bit. Maybe down to about 25. You want to really take out a lot of that brightness. Make it sort of more blend into the background. And we're going to come up to Sharpen, select Blur. Bring it up a little bit. 
And that's going to blur it a lot. So that's after, then that's before. So as you can see, it really does take away from the eye. Otherwise, you would be staring at it. So that's pretty much it. That's the look. So we have gone from this image to this image. So it's a very extreme look. I'm not sure when you would ever use it. It's high contrast, very sharp, um, looks really muddy. I think it looks really fantastic. If you have a certain look that you would like, leave a comment below and I'll see if I can achieve that. And uh, thanks very much and have a great day.